A phenomenon that has been fading away since the 2010s are film-based video games, or more specifically, movie tie-in video games. Movie tie-in games are video games that tie-in with the film's release. These video games would be a direct adaptation of their movie counterpart, allowing players to re-experience their favorite film in a whole different way. Wow! There was a drastic rise and fall with this type of video game, with it first starting in the late 70s, then rising and falling Ooh, throughout the 80s and 90s, small. sharply spiking in the 2000s. In the 2010s, we begin to see movie tie-in games less and less. And in the 2020s, they are, so far at least, pretty non-existent. But why was there such a decline in popularity? And why aren't they being made anymore? Well, we should first discuss the history of movie tie-in video games. Movie tie-in games have garnered a bad reputation throughout the years, as gamers have been burned many times by them. E.T. the Extraterrestrial from 1982 is perhaps the most infamous example of a critically awful film-based video game. The game at release was met with lots of criticism concerning the poor plot, gameplay, and visuals. Low quality gameplay is usually a common thread among movie tie-in video games. And this is because many of these games are cash grabs, with little regard for the actual quality of the game or the original message of the film it's based on. They simply wanted to release the game to coincide with the release of the movie even if it meant developers had to crunch and cut corners just to have it ready on time. This only became worse as time went on, with the 2000s being the height of the movie tie-in game. Back then, it seemed like almost any blockbuster action film or children's movie would have a video game version. Although I was just a kid during this time, I imagine many felt very fatigued by film-based games due to the high volume of them. And what does that make? Ketchup. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Although these games were typically and rightfully criticized, there were some well-received video games of this kind as well. Spider-Man 2 from 2004 was met with praise at its release and is still being praised today, due to the swinging mechanics and the open-world New York City setting being revolutionary. Unfortunately, it seems that the bad still outweighs the good with movie tie-in video games, and starting in the mid-2010s, we would start to see a steady decline in these types of games. Now it's time for the big question. What happened to movie tie-in video games? They were once so popular, and now they are simply a thing of the past. Well, there is no clear answer on this from any game studios, but I do have some ideas. Perhaps studios realize the amount of criticism these games have, and believe that people would not care to buy them and play them anymore. The more likely answer, however, is that video games are much more difficult, time-consuming, and expensive to make now, and studios probably wouldn't be able to pump out an entire game on time for a movie's release. Film-based games are still being made, but they aren't exactly tie-in games, as none of them coincide with the movie's release. It's a little sad to see how this trend has faded into obscurity, but I think it's for the better, as allowing game studios to tell a new story using a universe created by films is a bit cooler than just retelling a movie that players have seen already. I don't... I don't care. I really don't care. I just don't- I don't want to play this in- I fu We still get to see the world of our favorite movies, but instead from different perspectives. I think most gamers would prefer this to a cash-grabby, buggy, and cheaply made game that had to be rushed out for a film's premiere. <laughs> 